everyone. My name is Dr. Senthil J. Seelin, and I'm a consultant in pain medicine and anesthesia in the United Kingdom. This is a video uh, which is made as part of the eye opener series. In this series, we discuss about various specialties talking to specialists. This information that we get out of this web interviews will be very useful for medical students when they have to decide about taking a career in a particular specialty. So today we are going to talk about pediatrics. I've got a great friend of mine, Dr. Parnepin, who's a consultant in pediatrics and neonatology in uh, Kuwait. Parney uh, trained in pediatrics in the United Kingdom. He has given us valuable time for us today to discuss about pediatrics as a specialty. Without further delay, let's welcome uh, Parney to our web interview. Hello, Dr. Parnepin, how are you? Hi, I'm good, Sindhil. How are you? Nice uh, talking to you. It's good to see you. Um, now, I've got a few questions. Um, as uh, per the usual format, I'll start with the question number one, which is uh, talking about the positives in your field. Um, now, what do you think are the positives that the medical students must know before they take up um, pediatrics as a specialty? Hi, Sindhil. First of all, I would like to thank you for inviting me to talk. Uh, you want me to talk about pediatrics. Pediatrics, working with children. What else more you can ask for? Children are little bundles of joy. Let me start with a Thirukural in Tamil. Kural in the Yari in the Yenbar, Tamakkal, Maralaichol, Keladavar. What it basically means is that the music of a flute or the music of a pipe is so sweet only until you hear the meaningless blabber of a small child. This is how sweet these little children are. When you're really stressed at work and you had a bad day and when you get back home, when you see the uh, children smile at you or you play with them for a couple of minutes, this makes all your stress disappear magically, isn't it? Just imagine if you're surrounded with these little wonderful kids all the day at work. Most of these children are cheerful and most of them smile all the time, even though they are going through great stress at the hospital. And if you're someone who wants to see your patients recover very quickly, and this is the field for you. Children have an amazing ability to heal. They recover much quicker compared to adults. And most of the illness in children are treatable and most of the children get back home happy and smiling. And this for the treating pediatrician is really very satisfying and rewarding. The rewards are usually like small fist bumps. You can have a quick high five or if you're lucky, you will get a quick hug from the little one. And these are priceless, I'll tell you. In pediatrics, we treat children from the time they are born until they are about 16 years of age. The upper limit cutoff differs, depends on which country or the place you work. Children are not small adults. The way their body responds to illness is very different compared to that of adults. And not all children are the same. Each child is very unique and you have to treat them on an individual basis. And there are different spectrum of diseases which present in different age groups in pediatrics. And you see very interesting and challenging cases on a day-to-day -day basis at work. This keeps the pediatrician really interested at work. You would be wondering what are subspecialties you can do in pediatrics. I can tell you any medical subspecialty you can think of, you can do that in pediatrics. In fact, it's become a necessity to do subspecialization in pediatrics in the current world. I can tell you a lot of subspecialities like, you know, pediatric cardiology, pulmonology, gastroenterology, hemato-oncology, rheumatology, neurology, et cetera. Some important ones I would like to highlight are developmental pediatrics or community pediatrics, adolescent medicine, child psychiatry, pediatric surgery, and neonatology. If you're someone who really likes to have the adrenaline rush in you, then go for emergency pediatrics or intensive care, either pediatric or neonatal intensive care, where you have the scope to perform lots of practical procedures hands-on, like from simple intravenous or intra-arterial cannulations to endotracheal intubation, chest strain insertions, lumbar punctures, umbilical lines, et cetera. Pediatrics is looking after not just the physical, but also the mental, developmental, and psychosocial health of a child. Preventive pediatrics is very important. Vaccinating a child, helping them to prevent getting infections in the future, 
providing the right nutrition for the right age, monitoring the growth and development of a child are very important. And all this lay a very strong foundation for healthy adulthood. I can tell you a small example is like prevention of childhood obesity, which is a major concern in most parts of the world right now. If you prevent obesity in a child, that means you're preventing the morbidity of this condition when they become adults. Like you reduce the hypertension, diabetes, coronary artery disease, joint disease, etc. in the adulthood. So a healthy child means you're preparing a healthy adult and health, a very healthy society. Thank you, Parani. That was very useful information about the positives in pediatrics. There are always two sides to a coin. If uh, there are positives, there should be also some um, sort of challenges or negatives in that field. Could you elaborate on the challenges that are in your field so that the medical students can look into that before they take up a career in pediatrics? I have never regretted taking pediatrics and I would love to do pediatrics again and again, in fact. But as you said, any medical speciality will have its own challenges and pediatrics is not an exception. The first challenge I would say is most of our patients, especially the little ones, actually cannot talk and they cannot express their problems directly to you. Many medical students ask me, Doc, how are you dealing with these little babies who are crying all the time? These babies are crying basically because they are really stressed and anxious. So just be patient. It's just a matter of time before you just master the trick of distraction and you learn the art of communicating with these little children. Believe me, with experience in pediatrics, the younger the child, the more comfortable you get in dealing with them. The other challenge, the next challenge, what I, I could say is that the little infants, especially the neonates, are very fragile and they can deteriorate very quickly in front of your eyes. They can get very sick and your job can be really very demanding. You have to have the eyes of an ox to monitor them very closely all the time. In spite of all your hard work and efforts, sometimes we lose some of these little angels. It can be heartbreaking, but we have to cope with it and then overcome it. When a child gets sick, the whole family unit is stressed and this stress is passed on to you. And as a treating physician, it is your responsibility to counsel the whole family, communicate with them effectively as what's going on to the child and reduce their stress and anxiety. And Sandil, I have to tell you personally, one other challenge which I faced uh, is changing the nappy and cleaning the bumps of the little tiny uh, babies when I started doing the neonatal posting and doing the baby checks in the postnatal unit. You could get lucky at home and get away not doing them for your little ones, but you cannot really avoid it all the time at work. <laughs> I'm sure, Barney, most of our classmates have changed nappies, so <laughs> they would have had plenty of practice. Uh -huh. Right, uh, okay. Um, coming to the next uh, question. If a medical student uh, wants to take up pediatrics, what should he uh, do to prepare himself to be a good one? So if you are contemplating a career in pediatrics, I think you made the right choice. What I suggest you to do is spend a lot of time with these children who are sick in the hospital, either in the wards or in the outpatient. Just shadow the senior pediatricians, the professors, the assistant professors in the ward. See how they approach the children, how they deal and treat these children. See if you're really comfortable with the way of the working in the pediatric unit. Make sure this is the right field for you. What suits me or somebody else might not suit you. So this becomes very important that you decide this is the right field for you. Then just get the basics right. A good history taking and a thorough clinical examination, which we are taught in the first clinical posting, is very crucial until the last day of pediatric practice. As I mentioned earlier, most of our little patients cannot really express their uh, concerns to you directly. The parents are the ones who knows their kids the best. So sit and chat with both the parents. Get as much of history as possible from the parents. And even when the kids are really crying and agitated, be patient, do a thorough clinical examination, and this will clinch the diagnosis in most of your patients, even without doing any investigation. And I would say to be a very successful and good pediatrician, you have to develop few qualities. You have to be really passionate towards your work. 
you have to be compassionate towards the patients and their families. You have to be very polite and patient. I'll tell you, most of the pediatricians are really nice people and you'll be working with a set of really fantastic people if you take pediatrics. Pursuing a career in pediatrics has been a blessing for me. It has helped me change my personality and my life very positively in a great way. And I hope and wish all the medical students who are watching this video a very bright future in whatever field they are walking into. Thank you very much, Bernie. It was a very useful and informative um, uh, video interaction today. Um, I hope the medical students benefit uh, quite a lot from uh, the information that you have provided. One question, one final one, um, will be, will you be happy to take some questions from the medical students uh, when they watch this video uh, in the future? Would you be happy with that? It, 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 it would be my pleasure to take questions and to guide them in whatever way possible for me. Yes, absolutely. Ah, thank you very much, Parani. Thank you very much for your valuable time. Thank you. Thank you, Sindhu. Thanks a lot.